the earlier session we have seen about the working of the impedance relay. Now in today's session we will be seeing about the working of the numerical reactance relay. Here with respect to your circuit diagram only small modification is made that is you are connecting a zero crossing deductor here. So why I am saying this small modification so that you can compare the circuits and learn. Okay. Now we will move on to the principle. What is the principle of the reactance relay? So you are just going to take the reactance part. So we are taking your Vm sin phi. You are going to compare it with the IDC. So from this you are getting it is Vm by IDC into sin phi is less than K1. A constant. Okay. K1 or K whatever it is. Okay. Now V into sin phi by I is less than K or else you can say V by I is Z impedance into sin phi is less than K. So the sin phi component is nothing but your reactance. If this reactance is going to be less than K then the relay will operate. Okay. If the reactance is going to be falling below the predetermined value then the relay will operate. Okay. And here whenever you are going to go through your diagram, here you are going to measure the instantaneous value of the Vm into sin phi at the point when the current reaches. 0. So, at the time you are going to measure the reactance that is the principle that is you are going to measure the Vm sin phi value whenever the current is going to reach the 0 you are going to measure the value of the reactance right. Now, the other principle are going to be the same you are going to have the current which is going to be converted to the proportional voltage and it is going to be given to the rectifier circuit and you will obtain the value here. The next one is your voltage value is obtained here. So, you have the voltage and the current value which then is moved on to your sampled and hold circuit. Of course, the MUX will receive the from the port C lower of the microprocessor. It will receive the particular channel to be selected up and then the start of conversion that is your uh, sample and hole circuit will give the signal to the ADC. Then microprocessor will give the signal that start of conversion can take place. Once this start of conversion is done with then what will happen? It will start converting your all your analog values to digital values and once the end of conversion is over then what happens? So, it just informs the uh, microprocessor that all the values have been digitized. So, you can accordingly issue the trip signal through the port B. Of course, this microprocessor and the entire circuitry will be connected through a programmable peripheral interface that is your A255 PPI. In the next thing you should know here only one change is what we have done is added a zero crossing detector because we have to measure the reactance when this Vm sin phi you are going to measure the value of the Vm sin phi when the current has reached 0. So, you have to measure this Vm sin phi when the current has reached 0. So, you are using a zero crossing deductor. So, thus if I am going to measure the value of my instantaneous value at whenever the current reaches 0, I can compute the reactance. So, here this reactance relay is also not a uh, directional relay. Directional relay means it will detect the fault in one particular direction, usually in the forward direction, right. So, in this case, always we here also we will go in for your zone 3 production, zone 1, zone 2 and zone 3, 3 zone production we will go in for. Usually here also we will incorporate a directional relay setup so that it detects the fault in one direction. Of course, the same concept whenever I am going to take the 3 zone, zone 1, zone 2, zone 3. So, this zone 1 will act immediately going in for your instantaneous protection. This will operate after a predetermined delay going in for your second zone protection and after a great delay the third relay will act upon because it is going to provide the protection for the adjacent section. So, with this I wind up today's session. In the next session we will be seeing about the algorithm and the flowchart for this reactance relay. Thank you.